all right guys welcome into today's video we got a lot of things to go over so let's get to it first i want to say thank you here to the goblin king uh and i do agree can you feel the s1 static in the air it's coming that's right and this is a pretty awesome uh clip here that he created has the meta go beyond down below i love it uh so i retweeted this on my twitter go check me out at terry z247 and also go check out the uh goblin king here uh for this amazing video all right so let's go take a look at the price action today so we had a fantastic day yesterday and not so great today um so let me refresh this and before we get into that let's take a look at the futures uh they were a little red but the nasdaq just slightly turned green so a little bit of hope we could have a green day tomorrow s p futures are only down 1.75 points the dow is down 25 points the nasdaq uh, is up four points and the russell was up half a point so pretty much on the fence right now 50 50 of where this could go uh so meta materials during the regular trading hours down almost nine percent guys uh average volume is 5.97 million we traded 3.5 million so not what we wanted to see but we're going to see here in the fintel uh what probably drove that down which we have seen there is a lot of the dark pools uh when we start getting a little bit of momentum the dark pool and the shorts and all that they all come in and drop it back down so we need these market conditions hopefully to change i don't know if that's going to happen like i said i think the next big catalyst for us will be the dividend and this s1a amended come out we get the new ex dividend date and then you know the, the uh fireworks will be going off hopefully all right so mmtlp had a pretty rough day too down 6.21 percent uh but volume today exceeded by a good bit average volume is 322,000, and there was 546,000 shares traded so i found that very interesting uh this could be shorts like i said this thing was running up pretty good and get hit up to today uh days range with dollar 58 this one up too very interesting and hit a low of dollar 33 so i think it had a run up and the shorts are like we got to do something about this we don't want this running because it ran yesterday here it was running as you see the beginning of today and they just drove it back down so uh, like i said i'm buying what i can uh buying a couple hundred here a couple hundred there and just trying to keep adding to my trade station portfolio uh before this new x dividend gets released and we get the running so let's go take a look here at the fintel days to cover is at 8.84 percent now here is interesting short shares that are available is currently 450,000. if we look at yesterday at one point it was up to 1.6 so someone could have borrowed almost you know 1.1 and a half million shares and loaded those onto the market drive the price down and that's possibly what could have happened i know there's a lot of dark pool shady stuff going on so yeah that that's what's causing as you can see here uh the fee did go up to 11.46 percent so getting a little expensive again i like to see us get up into the 20s but we'll see uh as you can see the fender short volume ratio is 54 percent yesterday was almost 50 the day before that 53 59 58 every day is almost 50 uh we don't got the aggregate yet so we'll see if that updates and total short percent of the free floats 8.92 percent now taking a look at the prices here uh wti crude it's coming down 87.53 brent crude 93.23 big difference between wti crude and brent crude that's a pretty big difference uh natural gas still staying very high at nine dollars and 17 cents so just a quick bit on that uh oil had a huge run it's in a little cool off period i believe that it will kind of come back and natural gas is probably going to stay pretty high too um just the way the market is uh so got a nice tweet out here we, we should get these every so often from paul and i gotta give a huge shout out to paul i, I retweeted i said thank you for sharing and here is the tweet the divi calculation tweet i love that he does this this is very awesome uh our one year rolling average for wti oil from 9121 through 8122 is $91.52 per roller pigeon's divvy equation if the dividend is paid this month a non-taxable event $56.82 per share is what we would get for a non-taxable event on a taxable event would be $43.97 per share 
and the natural gas is not included in the calculation and we could add three dollars to fourteen dollars extra for natural gas so there we go uh very interesting here from paul so i want to say thank you for sharing this looks like we got a comment down here uh from roller pigeon let's check it out the equation was recreated uh the create the equation was created before i thought about youtube i just had some farm videos prior i had the equation well before that posted on reddit People wanted me to start doing YouTube because of TLDR. I'm not sure what TLDR is. I'll have to find out what the TLDR is. Maybe she did comment on that. I'm not understanding the lingo. And it's probably something simple I should know, but I just don't know it. But anyway, thanks here to Paul for creating this. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm still very bullish on this. You know, it's going to, like I said, a uh, quick summary on this. This cannot happen under Meta Materials books. People's like, we're not getting a divvy, we're not getting a divvy. No, we're not going to get a divvy while this is still MMTLP and while it's still on the Meta Materials books. This is going to have to transfer over into NextBridge, then anything can happen, as John Berta said. Once this is NextBridge in a private company, this could be sold. This could stay private. They could produce and sell and pay out dividends. Uh, they could buy back your shares and, and want to take the whole thing private. Uh, there's so many things they could do, and we're just going to have to hold on to our shares. Well, I plan on holding to my shares and see what happens. So let's see. Let's keep going down the line here. We covered that. All right. So got to talk here about this stock here. Ticker symbol MOB. That's right. Mobile Com Limited. Now, you can get this on Robinhood. So it is, you know, right across there on the NASDAQ. Uh, Robinhood, Weeble, Fidelity. You can get this on all of them. I picked up just a small portion of shares on the gamble. Have you seen some of these stocks? They'll go from like one to five dollars up to like seven hundred dollars or something like that. Get like twenty some thousand percent gains. So I threw a couple hundred bucks in this. I just bought a hundred shares strictly as a gamble, and there is a chance that it can happen. There's a lot of people very bullish on this. Like I said, go do your own research before you would decide to do this. I threw some gambling money in this. Uh, actually got 100 shares, I believe, at $2.62, which is what it ended here at. So right now I'm kind of even on my position, but just wanted to put it out here. Look at this here. This is a new IPO listed company. You know how the IPOs are, guys. And looking here at this article, you can see here on Stock Stockhead, Mobilecom CEO is aiming for tens of billions valuation. Here's a device for spotting a good drone stock. So this is a drone stock. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because for me, this is just a swing trade. I don't plan on holding this for five years. I plan on holding this for a few weeks to a couple months to see if we get a huge run up. As you see in some of these uh, huge IPO listings, and this is one of those, it's a low float. Uh, it had huge volume and just a matter of time to see if this one will get the run that a couple other of the big stocks have. All right, so back to this stock that we talked about before the channel. Ticker symbol SMMT, that's right, Summit Therapeutics. Had a pretty good day today, up 8.33%. Going to be transparent on this stock. I've been swing trading the heck out of it. Uh, when I sold this when it was up at like a dollar eighty some. I sold half the position. And then I think I sold some on the way down to just lock in gains. And it dropped the whole way back down to like right around a dollar. So I started buying back in at a dollar. And now we're back up to a dollar thirty. So I bought like some shares at a dollar. I think a dollar five, dollar ten. I bought some dollar fifteen, dollar twenty, and here we are setting a dollar thirty. Uh, and we were up eight point three three percent today. Now this is a very interesting stock, and I wanted to show you if you never heard about it. We did a couple of videos on this stock, and the total shares outstanding is two hundred and one million two hundred fifteen thousand one hundred thirty nine shares. Just the insider trading alone, the insider, this is mainly the CEO. There is 165,736,866 shares. Guys, the total insider ownership on ticker symbol SMMT is over 82%. And the CEO is like 81% owner of those shares, the CEO himself. Uh, so that is very bullish. They have some stuff. Uh, I think they have some clinical trials coming up here around October. So it could be very bullish for this stock for the CEO to be buying that much. So I'm back in again. 
Uh, like I said, we, we locked in games, we bought back low, and we're going to see if we can swing trade it again. Uh, probably what I'll do, if this runs up close to two bucks, dollar eighty two bucks, I may sell half and let the other half ride. If it keeps going, I'll let it go. If it drops back down, you know, lower, then I'll just probably cash out and rebuy back in. I'm going to keep swing trading this uh, until we hear something about this possible news coming out because, guys, for the insider to buy, you know, 81% of the float, that says something. Could we imagine if George came out and bought 81% of Med Materials float? Uh, yeah, I think that'd be very freaking bullish. <laughs> so, all right, I believe that is all I got for you in today's video. If you got any value, all I ask in return is to smash thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Peace.